Hi everyone and welcome to CodeFriend. Today there is really no need for an introduction. You already know what a minimap is. You've seen plenty of them in your favorite games. So let's get straight to business. Our minimap system will be based on the use of an additional camera. It will be placed above our character and will give us an overall view of the scene. Let's create this camera by right-clicking in the IR key and select Camera. To easily place it above our character, we can drag it into our player game object, reset the transform, and then take it out of our player game object again. This way, our camera will share the exact same position in our scene as our player. And now we just need to put it a bit higher, let's say 20 units on the y-axis. Rename your camera minimap, this is optional but highly recommended. And then we want this camera to give us an overview of our surroundings. So it needs to face downward. Let's make the X rotation 90 degrees. Projection mode needs to be orthographic because the perspective Otherwise, it would give a very awkward view. Then adjust the size parameter to make our view closer or further away from our player. I found 10 to be an adequate value, so I'd recommend that. And finally, we can remove the audio listener from this camera because it shouldn't perceive any sound. Now, the adequate way to use this camera as a minimap is to extract what it sees into a texture. Then we'll be able to use this texture in our UI to display the minimap. Let's create a new row image from our game object menu. Enable 2D mode and zoom out. This white square represents our minimap. I will place mine in the top right corner. So let's change the anchor and then increase its size to something like 300 by 300. And finally, place it in the corner. In my game window, I can now see this white square in the top right corner, and most likely you will be in the same situation as me, where your new camera is shown instead of your usual one. No worries about that, we'll fix it in a second. Now, as I said earlier, let's extract the view of this camera into a dedicated texture. Right-click in your project and create a new custom render texture. Name it Minimap Texture and adjust its size. It needs to be the exact same as our wide square size, so in my case, 300 by 300. Then let's go back to our camera and in its component, head into output and drag and drop your newly created custom texture into output texture. Our game view should be back to normal with our usual player camera. We can now select our raw image. Let's rename it minimap to make it clearer. And in its texture field, you can drag and drop our minimap texture. And now, as you can see, our minimap is working. We can see the player moving around, but the only issue is that our minimap camera is not following the player. Let's fix that, but just before, as you've seen in the introduction, my minimap was circular. If you want to achieve the same effect in your game, make sure to stay until the end of the video. We will take care of that at the end. But in the meantime, back to this camera following problem. There really is two ways to fix it. The first one is to just drag and drop the camera into our player. This way it will follow the player around and the effect should be good enough for some games. But in some other projects, like mine, the result could be horrendous, especially when moving and rotating around very quickly. To address this issue, we could just block the rotation of the camera. It will still follow the player at all time, but it will never be affected by its rotation. And I think this is definitely the way to go, so I'd recommend that. Let's proceed. Get the camera out of the player game object if you did, and let's create on this same camera a very short but effective script to handle the following system. We need a reference to our player and more precisely its positions, so transform. 
In the update method, we'll define this camera object position the same as the player, except for the y-axis, of course, on which the current value should be kept. And let's make this calculated position the new position of our object, so our camera. And the script is already finished. We just need to drag and drop the player into the player variable slot, and we can just press play. Our camera is now following the player, but ignoring its rotation. So we do have a working minimap. If you'd like to make this minimap circular and make it look even better, don't leave the video yet, I still have a couple things to show you. To make this minimap circular, we need to create a mask. But to create it, you'll need to download this file, which basically is just a white circle. The download link is in the description, you can import it in your project, Make sure to change this type to sprite 2D and UI. And also in the advanced section, make sure that alpha is transparency is checked. Then press apply. Get back into our scene view and right click the canvas to create a new image. We can place this image at the exact same spot and size as our minimap. Replace its source image by our circle mask and you can add a new mask component to this same object. You shouldn't see any difference for now, this is totally normal, because the mask is only applied to the children of the same object. Let's rename this object minimap mask, and then we can drag and drop our minimap object into it. Ta-da! Our minimap is now circular. To make it look even better, we can add a slight border around the edges, so you can right-click again, new image, give it the same source image, our white circle, and you can make its size the exact same as the minimap plus something like 10 or 15 pixels. This is very important, you need to place this object in the hierarchy above our minimap to make sure it appears behind. Because this is a very important rule in Unity, especially in UI, the higher an object is in the hierarchy, the furthest away it will be from the camera, from the view. Then you can just place this mask at the exact same center as our minimap, and voila! We now have a perfectly shaped minimap with a nicer border. Simple and effective, that is all we need, and the result is almost perfect. Thanks a lot for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. This minimap system can now be customized and improved in many ways. You could add waypoints, markers, objectives, etc. So make sure to take this system even further. Thanks again for your support and your kind comments over the last videos. See you guys around. Cut friend out.